Welcome back. You're watching News Tonight. It's one of the South Asia's largest consumer fairs. And if you are in search of some classy furniture or for your house or some jute accessories, the Metro Plus Lifestyle Show is where you should be. Our reporter Lokpriya visited the Chennai Trade Center at Nandambakam and checked the stalls out. Prasanna and his wife browse through the catalogue of a furniture maker company. They have just got a new flat and they are searching for the perfect furniture for their living room. For many shoppers like Prasanna, the Metroplus Lifestyle Show is a place to check out for variety. got a new apartment so I think this exhibition is going to be a, a very good thing for me. It looks like there is a big collection out here so I, I have to spend more time. The exhibition is really very good. It's an eye opener. Instead of going from shop to shop looking for some particular thing, we can see everything here under one roof. It's really good. So 300 stalls have displayed consumer electronics, antiques, kitchen accessories, home appliances, arts, handicrafts and much more. There's a Thailand pavilion for the first time and the National Jute Board which has lined up over a dozen stalls were the biggest attractions. One factor for this particular event has been tremendously well. The recession in, of 2009 taking a backstage here this year, we have had a good number of walk-ins. This time, there were more international brands and the show had something for every kind of lifestyles, from the simple and stylish to the elite class. In Chennai, Lok Priya for NDTV Hindu. Well, on to some news from the IFA Awards. Now, Amir Khan's blockbuster Three Idiots has swept the technical awards at the 11th IFA Awards, bagging eight trophies. Three Idiots won awards for the best screenplay, cinematography, dialogue, background score, editing, best sound recording, best song recording, and also the best sound re recording. The award ceremony was a glitzy affair with actor Salman Khan making a grand entry on stage with a host of other Bollywood celebs, including his co stars like Zareen Khan. Govinda and Anil Kapoor. Well, the 11th annual IFA was also kick-started in style in Colombo and though some prominent names like Amitabh Bachchan and Shah Rukh Khan were missing, the green carpet was buzzing with activity. We caught up with the Russians, not too happy with the kites controversy in Chennai but enjoying in Sri Lanka all the same. Unfortunately, Rakhisa, the kites have been banned in Chennai. Any reaction on that? What exactly happened? In what? Kites have been banned in Chennai. I think it was just for a show and it is uh, running now. It is running now? Yeah, just one for one show they banned it. Okay, what, about any, what, what, is, what about the fact that entertainment is being politicized because of the... I idea think it's not correct. We are all Indians. Two minutes. Okay, looking absolutely gorgeous. One of the most gorgeous Bollywood couples, I have to say, you're really adding to the Sri Lanka beauty and glitz. So, how are you liking the place? I'm loving it. Beautiful place. Beautiful people. They really love us. It's really, really good. So then how have you been? Have you been um, have you managed to go around Sri Lanka? A little bit and it's a very uh, friendly city, friendly people and they're very happy to be here. Well that's all we have for you now. Keep watching NDTV Hindu, nothing but the truth.